Sorry, little bro. I messed up. We got to go bald. Ooh, that's tough. tough bean. That's crazy. He's got to go bald. I love you, hair. <laughs> Getting a haircut. If you're walking in a barber shop for the first time, you are playing Russian roulette with your hair. But after that, it gets better. When they finally get to know you, then they get an idea of what you want with the cut. But you know, I'm sure haircuts overall for all of us have been pretty smooth. But I'm sure we all have that one bad experience with haircuts where you got scammed and it was just a crime to pay. Like, why am I even paying right now? Like, I'm not, pay I'm not trying to pay to look like Mr. Clean or that dude from Star Trek. And then some people who give bad haircuts have the audacity to ask, how do you like it? Oh, like, mother, what do you no, think? Man. Oh yeah, man, I loved it. Like, no, we obviously hated it. Y yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's awesome, man. <laughs> I got you crying tears of joy, man. Love to see it. Like, that's one of the hardest things to do. Say that you don't like your haircut to the person who cut your hair. If you've ever done that, seriously, props to you. And you know what's even more brave? Going to school with the f***ed up cut. Like, you're about to get your ass flame. There's no running away from it because there's all those teachers that's like, um, Timothy, you cannot wear a hat in school. Like, shut the hell up. Then you finally muster up the courage to walk into the building, step into the room. Then the entire class just stares at you. You as the as you have this goofy ass haircut on your head or maybe you won't even have hair that moment right there is just tough that's probably one of the most embarrassing things that could happen to you in school bad haircuts can seriously assassinate your social life for the time being just because your barber decided to sh the bed that day and then your homies will come up to you and be like "Ooh, bro what happened mr that's clean tough. looking at I don't want to talk about it. Your barber sucks, bro. I would have ran. Yeah, we can all relate to that. So I have three specific experiences where the cut just got messed up. So I was in the second grade. All right, I was a little Timmy. And I pulled up to a shop. Obviously, I'm not going to name drop them. I'll come up with a fake name. We'll go with the G's Cuts. I don't know. But my second grader ass walks in. And I see a basket of lollipops on the counter. <laughs> lollipop, lollipop. No, no, not until you get your hair cut, honey. And I made that little spoiled kid pouty face like <laughs> so when we got in I, this was my first time going and the array of barbers the characters i had to choose from were ah uh, they, they weren't good there was one dude smoking a ciggy there was some mean looking old lady with like i don't know what was going on with her hair but it, it looked wacky she had like a little wacky haircut going and then you also had a guy with an eye patch the whole crew wasn't looking like that but you know there was some some characters in there you'd didn't want to get, we'll say. So I ended up getting the lady with the wacky haircut, and then I saw Birdie on the other end with the dude in the eye patch. That's so tough. And the lady asked me, So, honey, what, what, what do you want to do with your hair? And obviously, I was not up to speed on the haircut language. So I just pointed at a comb over. And I wouldn't be telling the story if they didn't. Fuck it up. Ding, ding, ding. You got it. All they had to do was line me up, and they couldn't even do that. My hairline looked so scuffed. It was unbelievable. And I got a McDonald's hairline. Oh my god, it was bad. It looked like Nick Avocado's cut, but shorter and flatter. And let's just say it did not look fresh. It did not look lined up whatsoever. Now, of course, I'm not going to expect to be lined up in fucking second grade. That shit, it was just circular with a little peak in it. Like, it was cheeks. So there's my stupid ass with my goddamn lollipop. Like, I had no style whatsoever. And then I saw Birdie's cut, and yeesh. It was pretty bad. His hairline looks something like this. Me and Birdie got done dirty. Like, we weren't really rocking with G's cuts that much, but we kind of just went there anyway for about a year. And the thing about G's cuts is, well, it was already on its last legs. The business was about to close down, so we had no other spot to get a haircut. We had no idea where the hell to go next. So we went to my grandmother. And why? Well, she used to be a hairstylist back in the day, but this story is very embarrassing for me. But I'm telling it. So my grandmother asked me and Birdie, oh, do you guys want to get a haircut? And of course, we both agreed. We went down the stairs into the basement and boom there's already like this setup and everything down there with like this chair there's a mirror on the wall and everything and then she had like every goddamn level of sheer like she was serious with it you know i'm not gonna diss my grandmother but i am gonna diss myself because guess what she asked oh what do you what do you want to do with your hair and my dumbass said i want a mohawk a mohawk i don't know why i said a mohawk i really wanted to be the hog rider out here or some shit and of course she agreed since i was a spoiled third grader so she cut it and i looked like the hog rider, hog rider! 
Yeah, that, that's what it looked like. That is girl repellent right there. And apparently my third grader ass thought a mohawk would be cool. And of course, no, I just looked goofy. So then my parents got there. They were ready to pick me up from a long day. And yeah, let's say things did not go well. And let's just say we messed up and we had to go bald. And I cried. I was whining, crying. Like, ah, stop. And I was practically bald. And of course, I instantly put a hat on because I'm just not rocking with the look. So I would wear a hat everywhere, even in the pool, even when I went to sleep. Like, bro, it was crazy. First time going bald really hit different for me. And it gets worse, by the way. All right, the family function never forgets. This is always brought up at every single function I pull up to. If it was like a graduation party for me, for example, like if the event is surrounding me, then the chances are much greater of it being brought up. And everyone Everyone loves this story for some reason because it's told at like almost every family function when they reminisce on how much of a stupid child I was. Hey kiddo, remember that one time you got a mohawk? <laughs> Oh yeah, that was a great time. He just cried and cried and cried. Oh yeah, I remember that. I remember the, I was the one who shaved his head. <laughs> it really was tough beans. Like I'm out here getting violated like crazy. Like I don't know what to do in that situation when I just like awkwardly laugh like, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I was uh really dumb, man. So yeah, that was a pretty interesting time. And from that day forward, I no longer chose what I got for my haircut until I was older. And thank God I didn't have to go to school school because it was the summertime that would have been uh, it would have been a rough day for me then after that little shit show of me going bald we ended up going to walmart for something this was around the time mario galaxy 2 dropped and i whined like a little bitch for it and i got it which i guess it that might have been payment for my hair getting fucked up which you know what it was worth it that game is goaded i don't even care and my hair grew back in like a few weeks and i found a new shop and i still go to the same one to this day we've been chilling but not so much my cousin on this particular day last year. His barber must have been shwasted or something. This dude was definitely cracking a cold one while he was giving him his cut. Because it was just disproportionate as shit. Do not go to the big cuts are us or whatever. I'm gonna make up a new place. From that day forward, I knew not to go. To stay the hell away from the big cuts are us all across the world. So he called up me and Birdie and he asked for an honest opinion on his cut. And of course we tell him it's a crime what the barber just did to you. I don't know how how this dude got employed, but somehow he did. Clearly, he sucks ass at cutting hair. Literally, everyone said something to him that day. And I was at the grocery store that I used to work at, and I saw him. And seeing it in person, I was just shocked. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It is the most unfortunate thing that can happen to a human being. The most unlucky thing. If you enjoyed this video, I got another one right there for you. Just for you to watch. Yo, I got you. Click on the video right